Government departments use the term legally blind to define a person whose degree of sight loss entitles them to specific benefits. Hey, I'm Michael, I'm a current year 12 student at Sandy Hang College and I'm also legally blind. I was born visually impaired. Um, it's actually interesting because I started sort of with less sight and then they decided, oh yeah, he's going to have a bit more sight. So I went braille first and then went to large print. Large print is basically just increased sized fonts. I try to be able to do everything. In fact, I think I surprise many people when I can do something they think I can't. And so, really there's nothing that's going to try and stop me. I will give a go at anything and usually succeed. I've been to uh, the International Space Camp over in the US on uh, two occasions, something that no one else I've ever met has been able to boast. I guess it's affected me in many ways. For one thing, sport is a major issue, like not being able to see something like a tennis ball, goalball which is a sport designed and played by, oh well, designed for the uh, vision impaired and blind. It's a uh, team sport, in fact the only one that's played at the Paralympics. Um, basically what it is, is you have uh, two teams, everyone's blindfolded, there's a basketball with bells in it. One team takes the uh, ball and throws it down to the other end, where they must block it. Um, and then they take it and throw it back at you and you must block it. Certainly time spent on activities and such is uh, kind of large because like reading a book is going to take me potentially three times as long as it might for you. Um, also it's social, more difficult to uh, belong in a group. Though also I have my own group which is all vision impaired and blind people. I am probably the most sighted person in my visually impaired group. I know People who have absolutely no eyes, they have plastic ones, which can be kind of fun to play with. My senses definitely have probably improved. Um, certainly hearing, I can track pretty much where everyone is in the house or um, around me. I can detect things like um, what coin someone drops. One dollar. Smell has probably improved a bit and uh, many blind people have an improved sense of touch. I get around easily in places I know. I know uh, timetables and stuff off the top of my head for uh, things like buses and trains. Um, I generally try and visit an area which I know. If I can't, I'll uh, often try and take someone with me or uh, get someone to uh, explain the area before I go. I can look at maps and uh, usually work out where I am and stuff, but it's generally easier if I go and actually find landmarks and such. I have an ID cane which uh, I generally use in a busy place. It's not really the same as a conventional blind cane. It is not uh, swung or tapped as they would be. It's really just an identifier as me being a person of the blind community. Also when out in public, like if I want to go see a footy game or something, um, I've got my monocular which is basically a pair of binoculars, only a single one. They come in a whole bunch of different strengths. Something simple that allows me to see uh, long distances. When in public, yeah, they can treat me differently. Uh, some may laugh, uh, some may think I'm kind of weird, but at the same time, I often prove them wrong. Sometimes I probably even scare some of the people in the public because of uh, things like my cane. I guess it's affected my choice in subjects just a little bit because of uh, safety. Other studies like uh, English and maths and IT, it hasn't really affected me all that much. I've just got um, equipment which will help me uh, complete the tasks. The tools that I use in uh, many of my classes is some whiteboard reader. So the teacher has this pen and they simply write on the whiteboard and it will appear on my laptop screen. This is a portable CCTV. Um, it's basically just a camera in the bottom of a shell and it's designed for uh, short range. So when I put it on something, it will uh, increase the size by, oh, I don't know how much, but enough for me. Socially, it's also different because you have different uh, groups and um, it's sort of harder to fit in, but at the same time, where I am now, I wouldn't trade to have sight. I wouldn't go for sight because I like 
my lifestyle, I like the people I know, I like all the th opportunities that not being fully sighted has given me. Every five seconds, one person in the world goes blind, and every minute a child goes blind. More than 75% of the world's blindness is preventable or treatable. <laughs>